The city of Milwaukee is unusually dark. That's because there's several street lights out and not enough staff to fix them. Christina Van Zell joins us live near 10th Street with a look at the outages. Gabby, this is one of the areas dealing with multiple street lights that are not working, and we want to show you how dark it actually is by turning off of our camera light. You can see none of these street lights are actually working on this block, making it very dark. We spoke with people who live in areas like this who say it's causing more than just dangerous driving conditions. The lights are out, but people are home. It gets pretty dark. It's leaving this Milwaukee couple feeling dim. Out here, it kind of gets like we get forgot about. Kevin and Tanya Finnegan have lived on this block 32 years. In the last 10, these lights have been on and off. You tell when it's noticeably dark. You hold your drive to area and you can look up and down and you see the whole thing being just pitch black and you kind of get concerned. The couple worries the lack of street lights makes the intersection dangerous. If kids go in the middle of the street or there's just no lights and it's a crime factors too. The city doesn't want you to feel left in the dark. City engineer Kevin Muse explains February and March were unusually hard on the street lighting system. When the uh, ground freezes and then the ground thaws, it causes underground infrastructure to shift and crack and break. Muse says the city's infrastructure in some areas is about 100 years old, which includes lighting circuits. A circuit could have anywhere from 50 to 200 lights on it. And in March, Muse says there were 75 circuits out at the same time. On average, that number is closer to 10. One pole or one light goes out, just like one bulb on that Christmas light strand, the whole circuit goes out. On top of that, he says their unit is dealing with a 33% vacancy rate. With not enough electricians to go around, fixing the issue is taking longer. I've called twice, I think, this year already for lights out. Back on the Finnegan Street, they hope there's a light at the end of the tunnel. The city does encourage you to report lights that are out, and there are three ways you can do that. You can call, you can do it through their app, or you can do it online, and we have links to all of that information on our website. Just head to fox6now.com.